Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to another video. If you guys didn't know, I hosted an event recently for Backpack Battles, which was basically whoever can get the highest DPS on a stone will be the winner. That event has two winners, first and second place, and then we also ran a giveaway. Um, and this video is pretty much just going to be looking at the builds that people have submitted, and uh, we're going to be deciding and seeing who's going to be first and second place. Um, but yeah, thank you for everyone that decided to submit into this event. I really do appreciate it. You guys are absolutely Phenomenal and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started and looking at the people's builds All right So for the first build that we have here is from Ferris. It looks like they're rocking. Uh, they did this on the pyromancer. Okay Okay, so they got chili goober. It looks like they're getting empowerment from the uh, the shell totems triple shell totems is nice with the burning banner For that survivability is pretty solid a lot of food a lot of food So I'm assuming this is gonna be like a really super fast stone and he's also got the uh, oil lamp here for the increasing of DPS it seems but yeah a lot of food He's got four chilies not and then he's also got a chili goober on top of that um, Yeah, this build seems pretty solid. I'm not gonna lie. So it seems like um, increasing in DPS from these guys, right? And in this, and then just speed. So I, I, I just pretty solid. That's pretty solid. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this. He's going against a Knuckles build with double poison daggers, hungry blade, hero sword, and a mana thirst. Very interesting. There, the opponent's build doesn't seem that great, which is good because that means you can last longer and the battle can last longer and, uh, you can get your stats up there, right? Um, so yeah, we already got like what, 20, 20 empowerment already? What is it? 14 seconds, 22 empowerment. Okay. With, uh, looks like 40 something, uh, heat right now. Okay. 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 Looks like his stone is hitting for what? 40 damage each. That's not bad. 46. Okay. I wonder how long, how, I wonder how long this is going to last. Cause their opponent is actually lasting pretty long time. Having that hungry blade there with the vampirism, not to mention he's got vampiric armor. Like that's, that's, you know, pretty decent. And he's got double flute for the armor generation on those as well, which is pretty solid. Okay. He's in for a 64 damage. Fatigue damage is 20. This battle has lost it, what, 33 seconds so far? Jesus Christ. Berserk mode is also really good for you. Damn, this battle might be too long. You might actually lose. Are you going to win or lose this? Okay, he won it. <laughs> that was actually very close. Very, very close. I wonder what the DPS is at this. So we're looking at 132 damage per second on this stone not bad 59 empowerment with 138 heat not to mention i don't know how many times his lamp proc but that's going to add on to the nabbers as well i wonder if he showed the log let's see if he showed the log uh dps or not okay so 41 okay which makes sense because he didn't crit right uh but yeah that's not bad what is it 100 and um 100 and some change i believe 130 let me see 136 Let's see, one, yeah, 132. So 132 DPS, 132.8 DPS, not bad. He actually got really uh, like decently lucky going against his opponent as well. His opponent had two crowns, right? That's invulnerability. He's also had a berserker, which is less damage being taken. And then he went against somebody with hungry blade, which, you know, for that extra uh, survivability. Mana thirst with the red jewel on it, more survivability. And then he also had vampiric armor and then the heart, you know? Really good survivability on his opponent to get him up to, you know, the stats that he was at. So, yeah, really good build. And, uh, yeah, you did a good job, my friend. All right, and this second build comes from Hollow Titan, who actually did this also in Pyre Master, but also got a Goobert on top of that, which is crazy. No, oh, no lamp, but he did have a gin here. So, more than likely, I mean, he's getting armor from this. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna have enough buffs to get this gin proc, which is gonna be crazy. He's also went with the, uh, the shell totems for the extra empowerment. No lamp though, um, which I mean, he also has this time dilated, which is an insane proc on any Goobert. So that's, you got really lucky getting that as well. Um, the only way I could see this being better is only just having a lamp like just here or something. But still, this, this is looking pretty, like it's a rainbow Goober. You know what I mean? Like this is the best of the best, right? Realistically, this is a whole rainbow Goober, bro. This is crazy. And he's going against, I don't know what build his opponent has, honestly. Like, is this like a super survivor build? I don't I actually don't know. I mean, he's got crown here, which is decent. Um, that's really about it. That's all the survivability. I mean, there's more, but like not not by much. Not much survivability. So I don't know how long this battle is going to be. Because the longer the battle, the higher you can get your stats and your build, right? But if the battle doesn't last long enough, then it's like, you know, what happens at that point? You know what I mean? But um, yeah, we'll see how this goes as soon as he starts it, right? Okay, point two. Okay, we'll see how this goes. Um, but I'm excited for this, but Rainbow Goober, not only a Rainbow Goober, but Rainbow Goober on a Time Dilator. That is insane. Absolutely insane. Oh, I forgot about the blind. The blind actually helps you so much in this build, actually. 
because if you miss, you know, it takes more hits to kill your opponent. And the longer your opponent survives, the higher you can get your stats, right? So if you're going against an opponent with a lightsaber or anything that inflicts blind, 60 critical already is insane. Insane. But yeah, if you go against an opponent that, um, that, that inflicts blind on you, you're just going to miss a bunch of times, right? We well, don't want to miss too much or else you're just not going to be able to kill the opponent. And that would just be bad, right? But in this instance, it's like kind of good. You know what I mean? And maybe in this instance, you don't want a lamp to increase your accuracy. Because if it increases your accuracy, you're never going to miss. Like he just missed what, like three times in a row, two times in a row, something like that. Right? So like another time he missed and the stone's accuracy by default is already like not great. You know what I mean? Another miss. I don't know if he got that gin proc already. I think he needs like one more clover. Yep, there goes the Jin proc. What are you hitting for now? Miss. <laughs> He's just going to keep missing. Your opponent has 59 blind on him, by the way. That is insane. Another miss. Another miss. Another miss. He just keeps missing. He just keeps missing. The only thing that's generating him clovers is what? The, uh, the lamp, I guess? A 220? The DPS is 426. 426 dps per second his opponent almost has like 100 blind on him bro that lasted what 23 seconds the last battle lasted what like 33 23 seconds at 426 dps is absolutely in freaking insane i wonder if this goober actually gives you empowerment i don't know if the goober actually uh gives you empowerment or not but that is insane that is insane the stats at the end here or near in 54 empowerment with 192 heat. That is an incredible build. Not to mention he, he, he had the goober as well in here. Every bro, just, just time dilated with the slime goober, bro. Like that, that just makes everything better. Literally just makes everything better. Um, not actually going for lamp so you can miss that many times. You know what I mean? So that your stone can get up there in the higher DPSs. And then when you do hit. You hit him for 220 damage. And that's not even critting on top of that. Like, imagine that crits. That's a 450 damage hit. You one-shot somebody with a stone on a crit. Like, that's, that's fucking insane. But yeah, that was a crazy build. Wow. Wow, you did really good. Really, really good. I guess you can't really beat a rainbow goober. You know what I mean? Like, that is insane. Look at the, the accuracy was 40%. His stone had a 40% chance to hit. That is bonkers, bro. Wow. That was a really good game. You did a good job. That, that, yeah. Yeah, that was, that was great. But yeah, guys, that was really all for the submissions. We only got two, unfortunately. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, but yeah, that's going to be, uh, first place and second place since we had first place and second place and two submissions. So congratulations to you guys. I'll be reaching out to you guys on Discord for your prize money. Congratulations. And, um, and yeah, I appreciate everyone that uh, entered into the event. I appreciate everyone that enjoyed the event. And um, not sure if I'll do something like this in the future. We'll have to see. Um, but uh, but yeah, appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.